I am Daniel Borsati. I want to share with you information which appears to disrupt the natural flow of life for the people of the United States of America and throughout the world. First, I want to ask you, what happened to the checks and balances that people placed on government instead of what we have today? On one hand, our government helps many people by giving more handouts whether people need them or not. And on the other, how much is enough and how far will we allow them to reach into our lives and abstract everything we have until one day we wake up broke, not knowing how we allowed ourselves to get here. And why does this government do things to protect our natural parks and at the same time allow and encourage carcinogens such as chemtrails to be scattered over millions of acres throughout our country. And what is their agenda? I have not found it out, and I've learned though recently about a company called Monsanto Corporation. I became concerned about what they are doing to our foods, and you should too. And what was wrong with our foods before they began to change its function and structure, resulting in a depletion of natural nutritional benefits. Most people know that there are natural laws versus man-made laws. And I will share with you a maxim of law, which is nature's law. And it is best judge of the air, water, and the foods we ingest, resulting in how all living things flourish on this planet not the corporations. I cannot tell you enough as time passes, life becomes more frightening as we move into the future. It doesn't have to be the way it is today. And more importantly, we have the power to stop this path of destruction of our planet. Some of the basics of life are our freedoms to choose, freedom to travel unencumbered, Freedom to think for ourselves as well. And freedom is not free, has been said before. When we sacrifice our freedoms for security, we end up with neither. We are all responsible for our lives, and it is equally true that the pollution of this earth is similar to the pollution of our morals and ethics. For example, when our government suppresses our constitutional protective rights and enacts certain codes, statutes, and rules which hinder our freedoms because they think it's best for the people and without our electing them to do such atrocities, the effects cause people to care less, fear more, trust less, and many give up on themselves, which affects the rest of our environment. People. It is time we stop sleeping and wake up to our political, moral, and ethical obligations to the way we interact with the people we have allowed to run our government. If we, the people, continue to believe the controlled propaganda from mediums such as television, radio, and newspapers, and do not do the research for ourselves, as our history has proven repeatedly, the mind candy we are fed will inevitably be to our own demise, just as it is to our healthy bodies by the poisons we are fed. Ask yourselves a few basic questions. One, do you have trust in the three bodies of government, the legislative, executive, and judiciary branches we have empowered to govern us? And two, are they fulfilling their oaths to we the people? Three, are you happy with the job government is doing? If not, what would you do differently? After my personal research, it's true. The majority of all court cases are filed by government or a subsidiary of the corporations, compelling the people into court. One reason is that there seems to be less people 
then there are laws on the books, unconstitutional or not, which most people know very little about. Many of us realize that government is great at complicating the political language. The question is, why do they want to keep us ill-informed? It appears they have taken something which were beautiful and at one time where the people truly love to say, I am an American and dirty the waters by sacrificing our freedoms. It has come down to the future of greed and policy versus natural law and due process. And if you believe in natural law, which is the essence of common law, which creates green living, trust and faith in those who we pay to do a job for us. I remember the days when the government used to chant, in God we trust, which has been changed to, what can the government get from the people, no matter who they trample on. This mindset creates greed, which inhibits prosperity for the planet and the future cannot sustain it. Ask yourselves, what does it truly mean to you to say, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Did you know that all people are endowed with unalienable rights at birth? My friends, it's time to secure our masks on the airplane, or we will not be able to help ourselves or our neighbors. One unavoidable fact is that the beauty of the high-speed technological world we live in gives the ability of spreading messages in a peaceful manner. The idea is that it's all about me ideology, or to believe what the government says is true, has to be redirected towards the salvation of the preservation of our world and the planet which sustains us. We can achieve this goal with many in body and one mind. And without this thinking and followed up by actions, there is no more human race. I want to share with you about tyranny, malicious, amoral, and downright unethical actions by our government. And it were done by the very government which we're supposed to protect and serve. And above all else, do no harm. And when I mean by do no harm, there is a saying. The law is supposed to protect those who are vigilant over those who slumber on their rights. In order to uphold to this great constitution of our great republic, Everyone in government is supposed to swear an oath and we need to force them to hold to that oath while being bonded. If you, the viewers, feel you want to know more or if you can offer some of your wisdom, then help me help you and our great country and let us move forward in a better light of education and benefit will be a freer and prosperous America. And we encourage you to subscribe below or make a comment. You know, it's all about creating value for our society. And we're only going to be able to do it if we all band together. And we need to do it one step at a time. So stay tuned.